Hello and welcome. In this video, we will solve an exercise from grade 9 official exams, in particular from second session 2013, concerning determination of the density of unknown liquid. For this, we consider a U-shaped tube that is filled with a certain amount of water. You're given that P atmospheric equals 76 centimeters of mercury. You're also given that rho HG, which is the density of mercury, HG is the symbol of mercury, equal 13,600. 600 kilogram per cubic meter, where kilogram per cubic meter is the SI unit of density. Finally, you're given that the gravitational field strength, or simply G, equal 10 newtons per kilogram. And the first question, the two free surfaces of water are at the same horizontal plane. Justify. If you look at the two branches of the U tube, you can see that the free surfaces of the liquid are at the same horizontal plane because they belong to the same liquid, which is water, that is at rest, and they are both subjected to the same pressure, that is B atmospheric. In this part, we want to calculate in Pascal the pressure at A and the pressure at B. As we just said, the pressure at A equals the pressure at B equals B atmospheric. You are given P atmospheric in centimeters of mercury. That is, the pressure due to the atmosphere is equivalent to the pressure caused by 76 centimeters of mercury. How can we find this value in Pascal? We simply apply the formula. The pressure equals rho gh. Where rho is the density of mercury, g is the gravity, and h is the height of Mercury. Since you are given the height in centimeters, you have to convert it to the SI unit of height, which is the meters, by dividing it by 100. Now we insert the values. and we found the pressure in Pascal. In this part, we want to determine the density rho prime of an unknown liquid that doesn't mix with water. For this reason, we pour in the first branch of the U-tube an amount of oil of non-density, 900 kilograms per cubic meters, to a height of 20 centimeters. In the second branch of the U-tube, we pour some quantity of the liquid that we want to determine its density to a height h prime equals 16 centimeters. The surface of separation water oil and the surface of separation water liquid are at the same horizontal level as shown in figure 2. In the first question, determine in Pascal the value of the total pressure at A. If you want to find the total pressure at A, we look what's above A. So we have the pressure due to the oil plus P atmospheric that we just determined. So PA, the total pressure at A, equals the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure due to the oil. The atmospheric pressure, we just found it. And the pressure due to oil, we apply the formula rho g h. Of course, here we use the density of oil because we're speaking about the pressure due to oil. And we have to choose the height of oil, which is 20 centimeters. Because you're given it in centimeters, you have to convert the height to meters by dividing it by 100. So, inserting the values, the density of oil is 900, gravity is 10, and the height of oil is 20 or 0.2 meters. The total pressure at A is, this is the total pressure at A. Reduce in Pascal the total pressure at B. The pressure at A and the pressure at B are equal because they are at the same horizontal level and the same liquid, which is water at rest. OK, 
here we just found the pressure uh, to take. Part. We want to give the expression of the total pressure at B in terms of rho prime, the density of the liquid. Although in the previous part we found the numerical value of the pressure at B, here we want to find the pressure at B in terms of rho prime. The pre if we want to find the pressure at B, we look at everything above B. We have the liquid as well as the atmospheric pressure. So the total pressure at B can be expressed as B atmospheric plus the pressure due to the liquid. The value of P atmospheric, we already found it. And the pressure due to the liquid can be found by applying the formula rho GH, where in this case, rho is rho prime, the density of the liquid. And of course, at prime, which is the height of the liquid. We're given the height of the liquid in centimeters. We will convert it to meters. And we will insert all the known values. So at prime. This is the pressure at B in terms of rho prime, the density of the unknown liquid. In the last part of this exercise, we want to deduce the value of rho prime, the density of the liquid. In the previous part, we found the pressure at B in terms of rho prime, the density of the liquid. And in the part before that, we found the numerical value of the pressure at B. Which is equal to this pressure. We have only one unknown in this equation. We can easily find rho prime. So the density of the liquid is 1,125 kilograms per cubic meters. This is everything for this video. Thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, please share it with your grade 9 friends and I'll see you in my next video.